Hi everyone, my name is Ravi Prakash and welcome to Inequalities. It is the next topic of algebra. It is a very important topic within involving lots of concepts, right? So we'll discuss each and every concept here and many of these concepts will be unknown to you and which you could, which you could not find in any textbooks also, right? So please pay attention to everything, okay? So let's, let's start. Now see, there are many fundas in inequality, right? We'll discuss all those funda here. First one, first one. If sum of variables is constant, if sum of variables is constant, then their product is maximum. Product is maximum when the when the numbers are equal when the numbers are equal or as close as possible right this is a very good observation so all these fundas are basically derived from uh, arithmetic mean greater than equal to geometric mean and harmonic mean right so we'll discuss that part we'll discuss that part after all those rules right so first we'll discuss all those rules so you can write fundas of inequalities right this is the first funda now see here you take up any number let's say a plus b is equal to 36 so sum of variables is constant so then product is maximum so if a if question is if a plus b is equal to 36 then what is the maximum value of a and a into b right so you can see here and obviously a and b i can write as let's say natural numbers a and b are natural numbers okay we can observe here if a plus b is 36 what is the maximum value of a into b so i can put some values here i can put let's say a can be 35 okay b can be 1 a can be 34 b can be 2 like this a can be 30 b can be 6 like this a stage will come where a is 18 and b is 18 right you see here if a is 35 and b is 1 a into b is 35 into 1 35 if a is 34 and b is 2, a into b is 34 into, into 2, 68. If a is 30 and b is 6, a into b is 30 into 6, 180. If a is 18 and b is 18, a into b is 18 into 18, 324. You see this is a max value, right? After that it will further decrease. You see it is 17, it is 19. So a into b is now 323. Now I start decreasing afterwards, right? Start decreasing. So 324 is the maximum value. This is what we are, we, are, we are this is what we are discussing here okay this is what we were discussing here that if a into b if sorry if a plus b is is a uh, constant then maximum value of a into b will occur will occur when both the numbers are equal both the numbers are equal or as close as possible right so they may not be equal every time right I mean suppose for the same question i can write okay so for this answer, this answer for this question is what is 324. So A into B was 18 into 18. That is 324. Okay. Now it may all not always be true uh, because all the numbers cannot be equal every time, right? Suppose A plus B is equal to let's say 17 here. Okay. So if A plus B is 17, what is the maximum value of A and A into B? And still I say okay, A and B are natural numbers now. So what is the maximum value of A and B? Can we write 17? A plus B is 17. What is the maximum value of A into B? So if A plus B is 17 and A and B are, A and B are natural numbers, now A and B cannot be equal. So we'll take the closest possible values that is 8 and 9. So 17 by, you can simply do, okay, there are two variables. You simply do 17 by 2, 8.5. So 8.5 means two natural numbers around 8.5. That is 8 and 9. So 8 and 9. What is the A and, what is A into B maximum here? It is 72 8 into 9 72 okay so it is true for any number of variables there are two variables three variables four variables any number of variables it is always true okay now now next one this is the first rule right so some constant some constant product maximum right some constant product maximum second one is product constant some minimum if product of variables are constant then then their sum is minimum sum is minimum when variables are equal 
or numbers are equal because variables is equal to numbers here so no issue so when numbers are equal or as close as possible as close as possible right very good point again oh, let's observe this point here now see a into b is given as 324 and we are asked what is a plus b minimum value so you see again same thing here if a into b is 324 and if you factorize now so a could be 1 b could be 324 a could be 2 b could be 362 right this is a could be like 3 b could be 108 like that like this it will go on right you see what is a plus b here so if a is 1 and b is 324 a plus b is what 325 if a is 2 and b is sorry not sorry 362 to 162 it is okay so if a is 2 and b is 162 so a in what is a plus b 164 if a is 3 and uh, b is 108 right what is a plus b 111 so you can see here when the numbers are when the numbers are farther right like 1 and 324 sum is 325 now when the numbers start becoming closer right the gap is reducing now 2 and 162 3 and 108 right so further number sum so what is the sum sum starts decreasing right sum starts decreasing okay so when there will be when there will be a minimum sum so minimum sum is when numbers are equal or as close as possible right that means what is 324 can 324 be written as product of two numbers which are equal yes it is 18 square 18 square is 324 okay that means 18 into 18 what is the sum here sum is 36 this will be the minimum sum so a plus b minimum value is what 36 36 okay right now one more thing suppose a into b is equal to suppose a into b is equal to 132 what is the minimum value of a plus b again same thing in both the equations i have written a and b are natural numbers for now okay we discuss other varieties also right right now a and b are natural numbers here also a and b are natural numbers right what to do here so again now 132 cannot be written as a product of two uh two equal numbers right because it is not a perfect square so in this case what is what is the closest closest value of a and uh, 132 so you can just do okay you can just assume if both are equal if both are equal then a square is equal to 132 therefore a is equal to root 132 what is root 132 See, I have assumed both to, both to be equal, right? But in this case, both can't be equal because A and B are natural numbers. And it's 132 is not a perfect square. So, its square root will not be an integer, right? So, A is root 132. What is 132? Around 11, in between 11 and 12, right? In between 11 and 12, you can write 11 point something. So, 11 point something means it lies, it lies between 11 and 12, right? So, you can directly say here, that what is the minimum value of A plus B? So, A... If, if it lies between 11 and 12, that means A into B, A is 11 and B is 12. That means A is 11 and B is 12. What is the minimum value of A plus B? 11 plus 12. That is 23. So 23 is the answer for this question, right? If A into B is 132, what is the minimum value of A plus B? If A and B are natural numbers, right? Then it is 23, right? 23. Correct. So this is application. Okay. Now third one. If a plus b is constant, constant, then a raised to m into b raised to n maximum value occurs when a by m is equal to b by n. Okay. So if a plus b is equal to constant, then a raised to m into b raised to n maximum value occurs when a by m equal to b by n right now let's take example for this you can write a question here if sum of radius and height in a cylinder is 12 if r plus h is 12 in cylinder i hope you remember cylinder what is cylinder volume of cylinder is what pi r square h okay so if sum of radius and height is 12 in cylinder what is the what is the maximum volume of cylinder what is the maximum volume of cylinder okay so volume of cylinder is what 
पाई आर ए स्क्वायर ए ट्रेड टू मैक्सिमाइज वॉल्यूम बट द मैक्सिम वैल्यूम इज वॉट मैक्सिम वॉल्यूम इज पाई आर ए स्क्वायर एच मैक्सिम वैल्यू सिंस पाई इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यू बिंग थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर वी कॉन्ट मैक्सिमाइज मिनिमाइज इट राइट सो पाई इज आउट साइड ब्रैकेट दैट मीन्स आई टू मिनिम मैक्सिमाइज आर ए स्क्वायर एच वट इज अ मैक्सिम वैल्यू ऑफ आर ए स्क्वायर एच राइट सो आर ए स्क्वायर इट बेसिकली मीन्स आर स्क्वायर एंड एच रेज टू वन राइट इट बेसिकली मीन्स एच रेज टू वन ओके आर स्क्वायर एंड एच रेज टू वन राइट सो इन दिस केस वट इज द मैक्सिम वैल्यू सो इफ ए प्लस बी इज कॉन्स्टेंट दैट मीन्स आर प्लस एच इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो मैक्सिम वैल्यू ऑफ ए रेज टू एम इन टू बी रेज टू एन अकर्स वेन ए बाई एम इक्वल टू बी बाई एन राइट दैट मीन्स यर आर स्क्वायर एच वन वैल्यू मैक्सिमम मैक्सिमम वेन वेन आर बाई टू इज इक्वल टू एच बाई वन राइट दैट मीन दैट मीन्स वॉट दैट बेसिकली मीन्स दैट आर इज टू एच इज इन द रेशियो ऑफ टू इज टू वन so if r plus h is 12 12 in the ratio of 2 is to 1 right so r is equal to 8 and h is equal to 4 r is equal to 8 and h is equal to 4 <coughs> sorry so r equal to 8 and h is equal to 4 okay right so at if r plus h is 12 so at r equal to 8 and h equal to 4 we will get the maximum value of cylinder maximum volume of cylinder right so what is the maximum volume now we can simply put the funda uh, put the numbers here pi into r square h1 so 8 square into 4 right this is a maximum so what is it 260 uh, 64 into 4 256 256 pi so answer for this question is what 256 pi okay so very good question right a uh, simple application application of this third fund of inequality or third rule of inequality okay so if a plus b is constant then again same thing right you can relate to same thing some constant Product maximum, okay. So a plus b is constant. So product product uh, product of a is to m into b is to n is maximum when a by m is equal to b by n. Okay, okay, right now. Okay, so the fourth one. If a is to m into b is to n is constant, then Minimum value of a plus b, right? Some constant, sorry, product constant, some minimum. Product constant, some minimum, right? Always will occur when a by m is equal to b by n. So this is the fourth point. Just reverse the third one is the fourth point. Okay. Now fifth point. Now fifth point is similar to the uh, uh, third point, right? It just that if a plus b, right? Some two variables are constant. And if some coefficients come, right? Let's say I write okay, k one a plus k two b is equal to now constant, right? Now k one and k two are some coefficients of a and b, right? Some constants like two a plus three b kind of number. Okay, so if k one a plus k two b is constant, then then right? That x this uh, k one a plus k two b is constant, then k a raise to A raise to m into b raise to m, and the maximum value occurs when when k one a by m is equal to k two b by n. Right. This is basically same as third one. Just it just that uh, if some constant k one and k two before uh, comes before a and b, it doesn't make any difference to the equation. Right. This can be easily proved by a m and g m. Arithmetic mean is greater than equal to geometric mean, right? Right. We don't need the proof. Sim simply simple observation. It is right. We don't need to waste our time for this kind of questions. Okay. I'll tell you. I'll write the questions. We'll do lots of questions afterwards, right? And we'll do. Uh, we'll do the M G M concept also. Everything we'll do. Okay. And sixth one is similarly. Uh, similar to four. Uh, fifth one was similar to third one. Sixth one is similar to fourth one, right? It just some coefficient come, right? Suppose like it's written that six one. A raised to m is sixth one is similar to fourth one. Okay, A raised to m into B raised to n is constant. Okay, then, then, now some cons constant is here. A plus B was minimum. Now some constant is introduced, right? So let's say k one A plus k two B. Okay, so k one A plus k two B will be minimum. Will be minimum 
when k1 right here a by m was so here k1 a by m k1 a by m is equal to k2 b by m right so very very important is six points right next there are more points here but uh, we will discuss some question with the six points and then we will move to seven point okay six points some questions we will do for this six point okay now let's write a question here if a plus b plus c is equal to 18 then a plus 1 into b plus 2 into c plus 3 what is the maximum value of this whole expression okay this is the question right simple observe now and obviously it is given that a b c are a b c are positive integers that means natural numbers right now if a plus b plus c is equal to 18 what is the maximum value of a plus 1 into b plus 2 into c plus 3 right now you see here a plus 1 okay so here i need to this a i need to convert to a plus 1 b i need to convert to b plus 2 and c i need to convert to c plus 3 right what i can do here i can write a plus 1 plus b plus 2 plus c plus 3 right this 1 2 and 3 i have added i have added from my side in this equation right so 1 plus 2 plus 3 6 is added on the left side so 6 should also be added, added on the right side it becomes 24 right so now it becomes this equation becomes like so a plus 1 plus b plus 2 plus c plus 3 is equal to 24 right this expression here now let's a plus 1 is capital a b plus 2 is capital b c plus 3 is capital c it becomes a plus b plus c is equal to 24 and this is right this is a plus 1 i assumed as a a plus b plus 2 as b c plus 3 as c right so what the question is what is the maximum value of a into b into c question is what is the maximum value of a into b into c so same thing some constant product is maximum when numbers are equal or as close as possible right since 24 is written as some of these three numbers these can be equal as 24 is a multiple of 3 so when it will be equal so a b into b into c will be maximum when a is equal to b is equal to c at equal to what 8 24 by 3 is 8 right therefore a into b into c maximum value is 8 into 8 into 8 that is 8 cube that is 512 so 512 is the answer for this beautiful small question okay so what is the maximum value of a plus 1 into b plus 2 into c plus 3 this is the answer okay so a plus small a plus 1 is small b plus 2 and small c plus 3 i assume to be capital a capital b and capital c just for easy understanding right i hope it is clear now okay so next we'll continue in next video okay thank you